In this series, we'll be building a multiple file uploader with JavaScript and PHP. This is going to include drag and drop functionality, so we will be able to drag files onto here. And we've also got a progress bar here, which will show the progress bar percentage and will also show a visual of the actual bar moving along. So we've got a fallback here for older browsers. I'm going to be doing both and then you can choose which one to display. Maybe use a library like Modernizer, which allows you to easily feature detect and then appropriately serve which one. But we're going to be looking at the main functionality here. So the ability to choose a file uh, via this form or drag and drop files have them upload via an AJAX request, so we're not going to be refreshing the page. And then by the end of the upload process, we're going to see the files that have been uploaded down here. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to drag some files on just here. So if I go over to files, I've got a few files here, some of which aren't accepted uh, by my PHP uploader in the back end we're actually going to be hitting this upload.php file here. And you can see that these are the only file types that I've allowed. And here we've got a JPEG or two JPEGs, a zip and a PHP file. So these two here will be allowed and these two here won't be allowed. So let's head back over to the browser and let's test this out. So I can simply highlight all of these and drag these over. You can see that there's a visual change here. Uh, we'll be doing that as well. So it's basically adding a class onto this. When I let go, you can see that them files now start to upload. Now, mailer.zip here is purposely quite large. So that um, basically allows us to demonstrate the uh, speed of this. Now, when this is finished, when it gets to 100%, will be served with the processed files. Now we've got two files that have been uploaded. As I mentioned, this is the two JPEG images that we allow. And we've got the mailer.zip and the script.php that haven't been allowed. And obviously it's really important when you deal with file uploading to try and make your script as secure as possible. So we're gonna be doing this by file name because MIME type uh, isn't reliable and that can easily be fiddled to allow for things like PHP files to be uploaded. So we'll be doing this, but you may want to go and research additional security practices specific to your server. So do be really mindful that when you do implement uploading files, there's always a possibility that there's a, going to be security issues, no matter how much you secure it. So once we've um, uploaded the files, we can go ahead and we can actually click on these files here. So you can actually see the file that was being uploaded. And we're going to leave the tutorial at that point simply because these files have now been uploaded. We can actually check this in this directory here. If we head over to the uploads folder, these two files have now been uploaded. So these weren't in there before, but they've just been uh, added now. So we're going to leave it at that point because the files will have now been uploaded. Notice that we're also generating a random name here or a random enough uh, file name. So what this allows you to do is store these maybe in a database somewhere against a user account if you're using user authentication. So you can store these and they'll be essentially added to the user's account. There's no point including that here because it's beyond the scope of actually, you know, this uh, use and that may not apply to other people. Now, the other option is to actually select files from your computer. So you can just do the normal choose file option. So if we were to choose files and then head over to. The directory that we want. And in upload files here we are so we can just choose these normal notice that we can actually uh, drag multiple or, or select multiple files here so if i go ahead and hit open you can see that we've got four files selected doing this will do exactly the same thing it will upload these in exactly the same way and then it will present you with the processed files again 
Now, if we look inside the uploads directory, you can see that two more of these have been added. Notice they haven't been replaced, and this is the reason that we use uh, you know, unique file names because if, for example, a user uploads a file called image.jpg or you know, picture.png, then what's going to happen is if the same file is uploaded with the same name, PHP automatically replaces this. Now, because we're working with PHP, um, we're going to be obviously building the scripts in PHP here, but you don't have to work with PHP. If you have a preferred backend language that you want to build this in, that's absolutely fine. And the reason I say that is because what all of the all the script actually does is uploads the files, and obviously we'll be working through this later on. But all it does is it outputs a JSON encoded array, and you can do this in you know pretty much any backend language, as long as you output a valid JSON uh, string here. Uh, we can interpret that with JavaScript. So it really doesn't matter which backend language that you actually use to process this. So we'll be doing that. The next thing we're going to go on to do is configuring our backend in PHP. And if you're using another backend language, you may want to configure this to allow larger file uploads. Because like I said earlier, we're going to be testing with uploading this file in here, this mailer.zip, which is significantly larger just to test out our progress bar so it doesn't jump straight to 100%. So in the next video, we'll look at setting up PHP to allow for firstly file uploads if it's not already allowed and also upload for uh, allow for larger file uploads.